I'm Randlett Lawrence. Everybody calls me Randy Lawrence, and this is Randy Land, home of the Phantasmagoria in Echo Park, California. The Phantasmagoria is my name for this giant solar array. It comes from the ancient Greek word Phantasmagoria, which is a series or a stream of hallucinogenic or mysterious images that would take place when people engaged in the mystery cults of pre-Christian Greece. This particular array is my fourth configuration, fourth large 40, 50 foot long 40 foot tall sculpture and this is a rendition of the Virgin of Guadalupe uh, although I'm not uh, an Orthodox believer myself nevertheless she kept pestering me in my dreams and in my waking hours build me build me build me uh, and I thought putting a 30 foot virgin in your front yard you know uh, <laughs> how could I not do it there are five materials that comprise the Phantasma Gloria it's made up of steel in the form of 20-foot links of rebar that are spring-bent and spring-loaded, which I did by myself, it wasn't easy. Glass formed into a convex vessel, in other words, bulbous, round, and then the water that goes in it. And when the water goes in it, it turns it, that convex vessel into a giant fisheye or wide-angle lens. When the uh, vessel is teardrop-shaped, the stem becomes a concave lens. And so if you have the teardrop shape pointing up, the sun appears every day red, green, yellow, whatever the water is, inside each one, and then it performs mitosis and splits into two slowly at the same pace that the sun traverses the sky, which is as close to magic as you'll ever get. What we're seeing right now is refraction in action. This bright spot is the sun itself. Uh, this dark area above is the hillside beyond. This bright area here is the sky above. The sun is about to set into the hillside, so that's why the sun is encroaching in to the dark area that is that hillside opposite. The, you see the same thing in miniature right here. That's the sun itself. If the sun is in the sky on the opposite side of the glass array, it is inside that glass array blazing away. It's not a facsimile of the sun, it is the sun itself. If I made this whole array out of empty fish bowls and empty bottles, it would also be aesthetically and spiritually empty uh, because it does not capture uh, the, uh, the sun inside. It is no longer a solar mosaic. It's just a bunch of hanging bottles on rebar. This is in honor of the people who have inspired me, my pretentious way to compete with them, namely Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci. They all did their Pietas, they all did their Madonnas, and this is my Madonna made out of the sun itself. <laughs> Somebody told me that I should be honest and say that I did enter a period of real despair in my life because I wanted to make something new and beautiful in the world and I had not done it. And in the depths of my uh, despair, I think is a, is a reasonable word to use, I started making the Phantasma Gloria. So what I'd like to say to anybody who's bummed out, it's, it's just because you haven't found your medium yet. Keep looking, it'll happen.